uh, as a musician, my job of being a musician in a recording studio is has nothing to do with being a musician on tour performing. Um, I mean, like tonight, playing acoustic stuff, it's, it's more improvisational, so there is a creative element. Yeah. But a lot of times when musicians go on tour, it's fun, but it's not terribly creative. You know, especially if you're playing, and I'm not complaining, but if you're playing songs that, let's say, you wrote 20 years ago. You know, like if the Rolling Stones are playing Satisfaction, it might be fun for them. It's not terribly creative re recreating a song that they wrote 45 years ago. Uh, so as a result, over time, it's led me to not like touring. Mm -hmm. You know, I love nights like tonight because we get to talk, and then I get to play acoustic stuff, and then do weird DJ stuff. So it, there is a creative element. But sometimes when you're on tour, you're standing on stage, you're playing a song that you've played a thousand times, and you can't experiment with it or else people in the audience will get irritated. Yeah, they you know, like don't if, like you and you mess around with the tracks they love, right? Yeah, like if you go to see the Rolling Stones and they do a bossa nova version of Satisfaction, <laughs> or, you know, you, I don't know, you go to see Radiohead and they decide everything they're going to do is improvisational 12-tone experimental music, you're like, okay, this I can see I how that's fun bucks. for you, <laughs> but like, when I go to see a band, I want to hear the hits. You know, I go to see Duran Duran, I want to hear Hungry Like the Wolf sounding exactly like the record. And who wouldn't? You know. And uh, so I assume that if people come to see me, they want, well, they wouldn't necessarily want me to play Hungry Like the Wolf, but they would want me to play some of my songs and have them very closely resemble the versions with, that they're familiar with. So as a result, touring and performing, it's fun but not terribly creative. And that's why I hope to spend the rest of my life touring as little as possible. Because I'd much rather be at home in my studio creating, you know, like making new music, even if no one ever listens to it, just because it's so much more satisfying having something at the end of the day that didn't exist at the beginning of the day.